Okay, here we are trying to find the area, or estimate the area under the graph of f of x equals 1 over x plus 1. Over the interval from 3 to 6 using 10 approximating rectangles and right endpoints. Alright, so first thing you want to do is, <clears throat> well it might be nice to have a picture. Actually, oh, well let me do that. Let me adjust this picture a little bit. All right. Come on, draw. <laughs> Stop drawing. Oh, okay, I got it. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. The graph, um, 1 over x plus 1 looks, it's going to have an asymptote over at negative 1, so it's going to look something like this. And we're trying to find the area from 3 to 6, so that is from here, 3, 4, 5, 6 to here. So we're trying to find this area. Um, we should try to find out what the gap is, or the width of each rectangle. So if we're going from 3 to 6, we do 6 minus 3. We want 10 approximating rectangles. That's 3 over 10, or 0.3. So the width of each one is 0.3. The height of rectang each rectangle is going to be f of x. So if we make a table of x and f of x, and since we want to do the right approximations first, I would start with the right side um, of the interval that they've given us. So. It's just a, a way to make it easier to keep track of left and right. They say right hand approximations start on the right, left hand approximations start on the left. So the right hand side would be 6. Each one is a 0.3 away, so the next one would be 5.7, then 5.4, 5.1, 4.8, and so on. All the way, oops. This one is 3.9, 3.6, 3 and 3.3. 3.3 3 is going to be the last one. If you count them up here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's our 10. It's a right-hand approximation, so we're not going to include the 3, because that's on the left. We'll include the 3 in our left-hand approximation. So in your calculator, You can also do this in the Excel program. You can get the, the right and the left hand that way. But I'll show you um, semi by hand how to do it. Um, if you go into y equals and under y1 or whatever one you want, make that 1 over parentheses x plus 1. And then you do second graph to get the table and then enter the values. Make sure that under your table properties, which is second window, second window, you want to hit, you should um, make sure that under independent, it's under ask. So independent E and oh, let me erase this and start over so you can actually read it. So I N D P N T that should be ask. 
and that way it'll let you put in your own x values. So anyway, when you do that, um, you're going to get 0 0.14286, 0 0.14925, so on and so forth, all the way down to 3.3, .3, which is 0 0.23256. So your next step is to take all of those, your area, the sum of the areas is equal to the width. Since the width is the same for all of them, we can just put 0.3 on the outside and then you know f of 6 plus f of 5.7 plus dot 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 plus f of 3.3. So let's see what we get when we add those all together. Let's see, 4, 8, and then 3.9, and 3.6. Okay. You can either fast forward through this or do it yourself to make sure you get the same value. Just take me a second to add them all together. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see, let me count them up, make sure I got 10 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And no, you won't be able to see what I'm doing because it's on the calculator. All right, so I got um, 0.181286. And if we multiply that by 0.3, we get 0.543858. So this will be our right-hand approximation. And I believe it said something about how many decimals to approximate that to, so make sure you pay attention to that. Now, um, fortunately, we have done most of the work for. The only difference is in that total that we got, the 1.81286, we want to subtract off f of 6 because we no longer want that. We want instead f of 3. So f of 6 was point, let me write this one down, point 0.14286, and let me check what f of 3 is, point 0.25. Because the whole uh, middle ones are going to be the same, so you just have to Subtract off your right hand number and add in the left hand and voila. So let me figure out what that is. 1.81286 minus 0.14286 plus 0.25 and I get 1.92. And then we just have to take 0.3 and multiply it by the 1.92. And we get something a little di different than the other one. We get 0 0.576.